Business opportunities are the main interest of the U.S. Chamber of Commerce, which represents over 3 million businesses in the United States. After the re-establishment of relations between Cuba and the U.S., they now see the island nation as an investor's heaven. We believe engagement with Cuba and the promotion of business principles will play a positive role in helping Cuba prosper economically and help U.S. firms gain entry into this very important market. The Cuban Minister of Foreign Trade and Foreign Investment, Rodrigo Malmierca, explained before the chamber the interest of the island nation to bring investors. He confirmed that the tractor manufacturer Clever, which is based out of Alabama, will be the first manufacturer to operate in Cuba in over 50 years. We need the foreign investment to come to Cuba. It's an important component to promote the economic development of Cuba. So we are not creating barriers. We want them to come. We are promoting this. So it would be uh, stupid on our side to delay things. Or, no, we don't want to do that. For Cuba to receive the thousands of companies interested in doing business in the island, the economic blockade must be lifted by the United States Congress, a calling which the Chamber of Commerce made publicly today. I think the Congress needs to be educated better about what predominantly the American public, the American farmer, the American telecommunications company, the American innovation company, what they want is an end to these sanctions. The Department of Treasury created 12 traveler categories to establish a civil aviation memorandum of understanding that will allow 20 commercial flights daily to Havana and up to 10 flights to nine other Cuban destinations. The MOU, the Memorandum of Understanding on Civil Aviation, was officially signed, which means that for several companies who are sitting here today, it will make immediately a difference. It will mean a difference for business. The Minister of Foreign Trade and Foreign Investment, Rodrigo Malmierca, will continue his visit to the United States by meeting with senior officials of the Department of Commerce in Washington, D.C. Bianca Perez, Telesur, Washington, D.C.